Especially for Noku that he has momentum on the side and he has has a little bit of visual visual preference because he was because because he was just you know just watching this earlier. But that being yeah. said, Tony, I mean Tony has somewhat of idea of what to do possibly because he was just fighting oh, he Quinn. Have <gasps> but oh, is the same no. story happening again? I, that was actually okay. Hold on a second. That was actually a serious misplay from Noku. Where if he, I don't okay, never mind. And he takes he the sock immediately. I'm gonna. Uh, Whatever, all right. I was just going to say, though, that he had no jump, which means that if he stayed Squirtle and just charged up Water Gun, as soon as he tried to go for the PK Thunder, that would have just been uh, a dead mess regardless. But anyway, yeah, this is looking really good for Noku. Similar to how he just started off against Greninja, just with almost a zero to death. And oh, that fact that that neutral air reversed. Great DI from Tony. Keeps, puts him on stage, meaning he doesn't have to... I mean, he's just, oh my god, he still needs to juggle, though. It's like, pick your poison. Are you going to end up getting hit by 17 moves off stage? Or 17 moves on stage? It's your choice. The power so, is yours. And so far, it seems like the momentum momentum is so far is so far in um uh, in Noku's favor. But and is that gonna look at another stock? <laughs> All right, interesting trade right there. He's he's he's, duck, he's ducking for life, and that is definitely gonna be a dead nest regardless. Even with the up, even if the, even if he did up throw. Okay, so if you saw that, he did di that forward throw really badly. I think he was dead regardless, but it is worth he was. Noting. It is just worth noting that um, I'm not saying that this is what Tony did, but if you're worried about a character that has two kill throws, buffer your DI for the faster one. So in the case of Charizard, up throw is also a kill throw, but you have all the time in the world to react to up throw. So instead, DI for the forward throw and then react if you have up throws instead. Yep, and there we go. Tony finally getting one on the board, but however, he still seems a little lost in comparison to how <gasps> Noku fell in game oh, one. Is that's that? a He's dead. He's dead. That was oh my quick. God. Yeah, yeah. No, right now, Noku, I can see Noku acting like you may have lost a quid, but I can make you lose lose even more, even better. I hope you like losing to Pokemon Trainer. I do. <laughs> in sarcasm. <laughs> if it, if you want a character you I hate, it's Robins. <laughs> well, it's just like I don't know. This is like it's like Christmas present of. Hey, buddy. I know what you want for Christmas. <laughs> it's six Ivysaur down airs. <laughs> <laughs> I got you the pe special pack bundle. Come on, just to buy it to collect. Come over here and get your gift. Also for Pokemon trainers, I want to mention that I have a cool friend of mine. Shout out to Hydra from from Detroit, PA region. Ooh, Detroit, Detroit, PA. Like, well, I think he went to Detroit for college, but for P but, he, but he's but he's mainly in the PA region. Okay, I was I was gonna say that I I I'm not the greatest with U.S. geography, but I'm pretty sure that Detroit and PA are not the same region. I, <laughs> well, he had to take a train to get to Bears, okay. and he almost defeated the Beast right. in the Ditto, Dang. which which was known as our best, you know, one of our best tri-state, you know, Pokemon trainers. Yeah, yeah. But now it seems like Quid Quid and Noku are taking the reins here as of recently, and yeah, I mean, like that stock too. And oh my, I thought he air dodged it. Oh no! He could he? You can ledge attack that. By the way, guys. Um, uh, yeah, ledge attack has invincibility until the hitbox comes out. I thought he so. I in those situations, if somebody's charging a smash attack right there at the ledge, you can just ledge attack, and it's pretty much guaranteed to hit them. I was like, I know. The reason why I said, oh no, because I thought the Charizard up, up, you know, up, you know, up, you know, up air dodge, but, but, but then when you just fly it, I'm like, then I'm like, double, oh no. And not the sweet spot coming out from the down air of Ness. Odd. And he just, not dead. I don't think he has a jump, though, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all the but same to him. But regardless, it's over. Things are looking ah, pretty dicey for Tony. And Ooh. oh no, however, that's the weak spot, not the sweet spot. If that was the sweet spot, he, he was definitely dead, and he's still doing the same act again. Come on. All right, you know this game was looking so Come on, decisive. Tony. You have visual, you have visuals, and you have you have the visual advantage, and and your skill level is about quid. Don't. Well, and you also you have I momentum. don't know if I'd say a skill, considering how his match with quid went. I don't know quite if he's at squids. Quid's I'm level not, here, but he's for, I, I'm not saying he's far from bad either. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but as it stands, Tony managed to get a really good comeback starting going, but at the same time, Noku's still alive here. 109% off Oh, stage. no! He's forced to switch to the Zard, and beautiful right there, knowing that the Flare Blitz was coming his way. That's the only way. And was that, that a reverse three stock, too? Uh, it wasn't a reverse three stock, but it was pretty close to it. I gotcha. 
like he was at high percent two stock, I think, when he took his first stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after and, so, and sadly after the set, I got a bounce in my rides here. All right. But, well, but thankfully I'm I'm able like to finish the set. So. All right. Finish off strong. I'm glad for my first time able to be here. Get top eight. Have fun. That's a that's super sick. Mm -hmm. And I really am, and at least I'm doing better with Luigi offline, at least. <laughs> Luigi's one of those weird characters where it's just like, mm -hmm. he, I mean, I feel like on the one hand, like, he does excel online in really bad environments, but also there are certain real advantages he gets to And online. I feel like, in my opinion, like, for Luigi, like, I see him as, di I see him as, like, they're good, but it's, like, different, because, different in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know exactly what you, It's like the character, his, the, his fundamental win conditions change once there's no lag. Yeah. And it's fine with SDI, but I feel like Luigi does ha does do better in a few different scenarios. But I feel like, in my opinion, at least his matchups get a lot better offline than online. Because most of... It depends on if you're a good player. <laughs> if you're a good player, you'll do better offline. <laughs> but any, but regardless, I'll stop talking off topic. I'm sorry. But all right. now we're back to well, this, and Nuku is having well, issues recovering. Yeah, I mean, what is there to say? Tony Pajama just uh -oh. figured it out, man. 174%, Nuku constantly being pushed to the ledge. Any tiny hit will do it, and right there, it's actually going to be the neutral air that seals the deal. And that's 65% on his stock. Oh, but off stage, we've already seen what Noku can do when this sort of thing happens. Beautiful, the high recovery. Noku not actually able to punish it. This is looking like Tony Pajamas has just figured out what went wrong in that game one, and it's a distant memory yep. for him at this point. The well, question is, what if he does advance a quid, will that be enough? Yeah, no. I, I don't want to... Noku just shouldn't... No good shouldn't feel like, oh no, I'm just a you know a practicing dummy for when he fights against Quid. But at the same time, the fact that he's learning this matchup really well right now, it seems. And not uh, to mention we're trying to defend our defend our state here. Because we got because we technically got three invaders here. Because three, because Chris because Toy Pajamas, there's um I think there's a there was a, I think the guy was a Steve player from Connecticut. And then um I, I, the first dude I was playing friendlies with is me brother from SoCal. Oh, so we had a SoCal. I mean, Sen I mean SenCal actually. SenCal? What? Yeah. There, yeah, that's a region, but it's oh, not talked about as much. But it's not talked as much compared to NorCal and SoCal with Elegant, so Charlie the King, Prodigy, aka Grama, Louis Money, etc. Yeah, it's not talked. It's not talked as much, and I kind of feel bad. Oh, but. Yeah, but now Noku's on his last stock, his last legs in this second match. Yeah, it's a, I think a big thing here is that Tony has just been getting off the ledge so much easier. He's trapped in the corner and he's finding his way out. And then he puts a Noku there, and then all of a sudden Noku takes 100%. Uh -oh, uh -oh. That's going to be it. Oh, no, uh, no. Barely surviving. Without any rage. But on he has a uh, PK Thunder <laughs> coming his way, and now up airs for days. Yeah, and also any grab at this point will absolutely kill. However, if he does kill. get the... Oh. Yeah. Up tilt. Oh, up tilt will kill. Oh, yeah. We take those. Listen, up tilt kills, F tilt kills, down tilt if it trips will kill. Like, new <laughs> this is so many kill You options. get a kill, we get a kill, everyone gets a kill. The end. There's so many kill options. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Over. But if I'm Noku, I need to be, I need, you need to stay, if, but I think, but if I'm, if I'm correct, if I'm Noku, I think I should try to stay more grounded and make sure I'm still on stage. Because, because this is something that is di extremely different in comparison. He wants different in comparison to when when Tony was fighting Quid earlier. Because no and even if Noku went off stage, he'd mostly be winning these interactions. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, well, this game is actually. Oh man, it's it's. I, I'm remembering how in the beginning it would always start off with Noku getting some like 60, 70 percent combo with Squirtle, and then Tony Pajamas would have to be fighting from behind the entire game. This time around, though, Squirtle got nothing done. Noku took 110% and was forced to swap to the Ivysaur so early. However, now he's getting, now he's pulling out the guns here with, the, I mean, with, with the with the leaf twirl. Is he though? Because he's like managing to. Oh, no, like, he finally! Twice. There we go. We finally do. The, we finally, we finally do a get up attack. Yeah. We finally, don't get, don't get hit by regular get up from the yo-yo. But however, Noku's oh. still dead regardless. Yeah, that four they're actually killing. That's normally not a move you see Ness actually finish stocks off, stocks off with. But at, with that percent, with that stage positioning, great option from Tony Pajamas as he now sits poised to maybe take the set. Depends on if Noku can shake off the cobwebs. 
unsettle the dust that and seems oh to have no, fallen that's on a it. free punish in. Oh boy. Okay, good. He was able to make it back, and now he finally gets gets some of the start of his engines in. Woo! Takes him for a ride. That was really good. The whole thing started from mid stage and managed to finish it off the ledge like that. Really good stuff from Noku. And after all, people. And also another thing is like basically everyone's just taking advantage of the Ivysaur agenda here because of how because of how big, a lot of people would start with Ivysaur, Ivysaur, you know, the start instead of Squirrel. But because of the nerfs, um, some people were for were you know were forced to start with Squirrel more and actually yeah. you know play it and not deal with cheese and excellent mix up and he escapes that. It's because he was charging the up smash and it was too far down. And also, he was still in invincible, but it's like, a, but it, Bruce I'm still a little questionable, you know, like, what? Because of how every other time that usually hits him regardless. And only one time he did the get up attack, which actually worked. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, it worked for him regardless. Now, though. However, that's a dead mess. No DI. Man, it was looking so, so good for Tony Pajamas, but the thing is. Noku was just playing so well, looking for its win conditions. Engineering these situations where those Ivysaur upbees are killing disgustingly early. And speaking of disgusting kills, oh my god, that down smash had connected. And as connected. he sees in person, um, uh, basically, um, uh, they're just, both both Noku and Quid are making sure that, you know, making sure, don't forget about how Ivysaur was a deadly, you know, person. For sure. I mean, deadly machine. And yeah, after this, yeah, after this set, I gotta go. So, but I'm gonna finish this strong, regardless. Okay, let's see how and right now it's even. Here. It looks like anyone can take this game, and it seems like Tony is probably going to take this game. And the green! And he, and he still takes advantage of him switching Pokemon from Squirrel to Ness. And the F tilt coming out just too quickly. Right now, Tony Pajama's poised. He is on the edge of his seat, ready to take it right here, right now. Noku, though, managing to find that hit, keeping himself alive. And, and the back here is not, not enough. To not do enough. It. But he's still living, so I don't see anyone can take this game. And Charizard with Rage is a deadly and annoying, oh, no. an annoying no beast to deal with. But oh, that's unfortunate. I think that was I think it was a late back air, but with maybe some questionable DI. Noku's not surviving that one. Tony Pajamas managing to get the reversal. Reverse 3-0 Noku, and now t 